Alrighty, well, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, well, time for my usual, I guess, I guess this is a podcast. Um, one of the, one of my regulars who, who uh, listens to this stuff, he, he actually said that this is a podcast. Oh, here, let me uh, turn this on, by the way. Okay. And yes, I got some, uh, I never knew that, uh, Buddhists in China did throat singing. I thought throat singing was exclusively a Mongolian thing, but... Apparently not. So, so now we get to hear uh, we get to hear some uh, Buddhist throat singing. Um, I did, however, listen to a few seconds of this. It sounds a little different. Um, one thing I did start doing though is because um, these these kind of playlists are really bad because they're basically just gonna play one track for the entire hour. Um, some of the other some of the other playlists that I've been listening to. Um, they're the same thing. It's, it's the same exact track the entire hour, or for that entire period of time. So, um, I do have a, I do have a second one. I got a second one, uh, it's on tap. It's, this is my temporary playlist right here. So, um, but yeah, like, getting back to what I was saying, I never knew that what I was doing was a podcast. But like, like I said, one of my regulars who listens to who listens to this stuff? He's he was saying this is basically this is basically a podcast. I'm used to I'm used to podcast to mean something like the Joe Rogan podcast, you know, where he's actually conducting interviews with another person. You know, they're interacting with each other and all that and and that kind of thing. I never thought of podcasting was a solo job. That's why I was calling it a talking pit because that's that, that, that's all it is, just me talking. You know, no no streaming. No recording gameplay or anything like that. So, so good on him for bringing that up. Now I can just call it a podcast now and not just a talking bit. I mean, because when I'm typing, I mean, when I'm typing that kind of thing down on my blog, or when I'm having a, whatever I'm having to mention here or in other podcasts that I've done, it just, I'm having a hard time knowing what, exactly what to call it other than a, a talking bit, which even then it sounds a little, off. So. But, um. But, yeah. This is, um. But, yeah. Um. Buddhist throat singing sounds a little different than the Mongolian stuff. Um. I think, um. I got another type of throat singing loaded up. Loaded up on this playlist. I can't remember what it was, but. Find out eventually. And, um, did my taxes this morning. So that's where I spent most of my time. Um, oh, and I do need to mention, I'm going to try to keep this short. Because, um, around 5 a.m., I'm probably going to go out and get something to eat. Um, but, but yeah, anyway, I, um, I did my taxes this morning. Um, started on that about midnight. So, yeah, I'm, so, yeah, I do the math. I've just now finished up. You know, it was around 4 a.m., so it took me about four hours to file all that crap. Thankfully, you only have to do it once a year. Now, my big issue with it is, uh, for federal, I am, I literally broke even. I am getting no money back. Um, for my state, I'm only getting $18 back. See, you can probably see why I'm a little why I really grudge doing this kind of thing. I mean, I ain't getting diddly squat out of it. For all the effort I'm putting into it, you know, filing forms and triplicate and whatnot, and I'm only getting $18 from it. About the only, the only kind of tax I really want to do is, uh, is the property tax one, because I'm getting almost $700 out of that. I mean, hell yeah, hell yeah, I'll I'll do that one. All the money I'm getting out of it. Oh, and, um, and this time I'm fully armed and loaded with water, so I actually remember to fill my thermos up full of it. But, uh, oh my god, I'm already crying uncle with this. Yeah. Yeah, this is it.
Well, it sounds like they changed it a little bit here. Yeah, it sounds a little different. Um, even then, it don't sound a whole lot different. Okay, I'm. But uh, one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I'm going with this kind of music here, because uh, the first two videos I did, it went under YouTube's radar. It never, it never got me flagged for copyright. So it looks like I'm restricted to this kind of stuff. Um, oh wait a minute! Now that I think about it, um, one of the other one of the other tunes I was uh, playing during yesterday's podcast was uh, it was uh, one of uh, Legend of the Gate. It was one of the tunes off of a game called Legend of the Gaia. YouTube never picked that up. YouTube never picked that one up. Instead, it flagged out uh, the Mongolian throat singing music that I had going. It picked that one up, which came as a big surprise. So. Now that I think about it, this is, um, I'll go ahead and change the music. I'm, I'm sorry about this, but it just poorly, I mean, poorly planned. But like I said, the logic I had going into this was figuring that if I played like, like quote unquote actual music, I figured it would have been flagged, it would have been flagged by YouTube just like that. But so for the moment, the screen's going to go black. And I'm going to go ahead and throw on what I originally wanted to throw on. So let me... Pause. Okay. Let me full screen it. So what I'll go ahead and do... I just, um... I just had a real hankering to, to play out the Guild Wars 2 soundtrack. It's the um, it's the MMO that I'm currently playing, and uh, let me go ahead and do a sound check to make sure it's not too loud. Okay, so it looks like I do need to turn it down a little bit. All right, I'll go ahead and say close enough on that. But yeah, Guild Wars 2 is the MMO that I'm currently playing. Uh, I've been playing it for at least six months now. Um, but uh, as far as this one and Final Fantasy XIV, for the most part, it's a dead heat. Um, like there's uh, there's things in Final Fantasy XIV I like that I don't like in Guild Wars 2. Um, I would say uh. Better graphics optimization is the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, they do a way better job of the graphics. Um, in there, I could have the settings to, I could have it set to 60 frames per second. And on top of that, I think even with the graphics settings at the lowest, it still looks a hell of a lot better than it does on Guild Wars 2. And doesn't consume near, it doesn't hog near the resources that Guild Wars 2 does. I have to have it set to 30. I have to have it set to 30 frames and at all the settings at the lowest and it's still hot and it, even that it still hogs up a lot of my resources so yeah so it's a piss poor optimization on their part um but aside from that um i'd say overall gameplay i guild wars 2 definitely beats out final fantasy 14 I mean, in Final Fantasy XIV, for the most part, it's just, um, it's basically, it's basically built off the World of Warcraft engine. So, it, the way it, the feel, the way it plays and all that, it's, it basically is a, it's basically a cousin to, cousin to WoW. Whereas, uh, Guild Wars 2, the gameplay, for the most part, is totally different. Which, to me, I like more. Um, one big thing that comes to mind is, no tab targeting required. Whereas, uh, I know in WoW, Final Fantasy XIV, a lot of your abilities require a target. You can't just, you can't just free fire your abilities. They have to actually be targeting something. Whereas in Guild Wars 2, um, especially with your ranged weapons or the flamethrower, 
that uh, my main uses, uh, my, those range weapons of flamethrowers, you don't have to have have, have to have, have a target. You can just as long as your as long as your weapons are pointing at the monster, you'll hit them. So that's a huge plus with me. Because yeah, I hate me some tab. Because I hate me some tab targeting. I mean, you can be target. You can be targeting targeting the monster that's sitting right smack in front of you, and it'll still tap. And it'll still tab target all the other stuff around you. Now, to be fair. Guild Wars 2 is kind of guilty of this as well. Like, uh, it won't... It'll, uh... It'll... Uh, you'll aim slash target abilities um, according to where your character is facing, but not where your camera is facing, which is how I like to do it. But uh, it, do it, it doesn't always work that way, but I think every MMO I've played, it's guilty of that. I mean, I want to aim in the direction my camera is facing, not my character. Um, but yeah, and I I go back I go back to work today. Um, I'll be working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and have all my other days off. So yes, I am working part time. Um, so yeah, money's gonna be super tight. Um, so I think the timing might have been bad because um, I'm starting to have car problems. Like I have to, I, right now I need a new fuel line and a new evap line because one, my car leaks gas like. Like there, I could go up, I can park my car, go into a grocery store and come back out and I got this big puddle underneath my vehicle and it reeks of fuel. I mean, I smell like a damn, my car smells like a damn gas station, it's so bad. So I, you know, God help me if somebody puts out a cigarette underneath my car. He's, both me, both the car and the cigarette smoker, it's gonna be a big old flaming inferno. And plus, uh, I don't know. I think the auto mechanics might have done something, something to it, before uh, giving the car back to me. But uh, it it starts up instantly now. But before then, I would start my car and it would be. I mean, it would take almost 10 seconds to start because uh, it would vapor lock. But like I said, they they must have done something to it, cause um. And now it just starts up instantly. So. And that's even with me not priming the ignition like they were suggesting. So. Oh. So, yeah, but like I said, it, I kind of picked a bad time to go part-time. But like I said, I I mean, I, I, pretty much had, I pretty much had enough. It was getting to where I was calling in at least once a week. So. And, in, and the way... The way our store, the way, I should say, the way Walmart does their attendance now. Um, sorry if I sound like a broken record to some of you people. Um, some of you that have listened to my previous podcasts that have that have mentioned this before, but so I'm I'm mainly speaking to those that have never um, that have never heard any of my podcasts before. So this is mainly for them. Um, but uh, Walmart has a uh, their attendance policy is to me pretty bad. Um, you can call in. You can call in up to five times in a rolling six-month period, but after that, your job's in jeopardy and you run the risk of being terminated. So yeah, they're a little draconian with the law and that. So, so I basically knocked myself down to part-time to, to save my job. And plus, it, especially with the way things are now, um, but I'll, I'll. I don't want to go into too much detail. I think I did yesterday, but um, we've got some two pretty damn bad managers now that are running the overnight crew. So, and I'm not really... So, I basically... It, that just means uh, two less days that I have to deal with that. So, but like I said, I kind of did this at a bad time. You know, cars breaking down. Um, God knows what other kind of bills they're going to be rolling in. And then, and again, the taxes. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm getting. I mean, property taxes. I'm getting almost 700 bucks, but I don't think I'll be getting that check until like July or August. So that's months down the road. And even then, money's gonna be super tight. I'm hoping, um, budget-wise, I'm hoping that it's only gonna be a, a slight drain on my finances, 
maybe breaking even at best. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'd like to be able to do this for at least a year. Maybe in that time, we'll have yet another management change. We'll actually get, we'll actually get people that, you know, treat me like somebody that's actually been there for 15 years and not one day, and not yesterday. Mm. Another, um, going back to Guild Wars 2, another big drawback. Um, other MMOs have this to some extent, but Guild Wars 2 is the worst. Um, some of you that have seen me stream, stream, uh, stream this game, especially at the start, they probably are already going to know. It's just the voice acting. It, it isn't terrible. It's just, it's like no matter, no matter which race, whether it be human, um, human, dwarf, um, frog, um, the race that you see on the left, uh, uh, the picture on the left, kind of like the, like a feline with horns, uh, they're called char. Even that race, um, there's a, there's a frog race. I think there's probably there's a frog race. There's a there's a whale race. No matter which race. They all sound humans. They all sound just like me. The most you could probably hope for is a, a high-pitched or, or a barrel-chested basso. But they're all variations on normal human voices, which sounds very out of place. I mean, you're, you know, if you're... What kind of a whale is it? It's uh, black on top, but the, the underbelly is white. I think that's a killer whale. A humpback whale, one of those, but when... You're standing there literally talking to a talking to a killer whale. But yet sounds just like a human. It sounds very off putting. Um, you know, you can be talking to a you can be talking to a frog. Or I'm gonna have to turn my webcam on for this. Well, how about that? My webcam doesn't work, but I mean picture I mean picture a picture a frog with a big old huge mouth. I mean just there's a big old mouth that's just talking, you know, that's just talking normal with a nice normal human voice. It sounds very off. You know, it, I mean, if it's a frog race, it should sound like a damn frog. You know, or, you know, something like, well, hey, the country is a danger, ribbit, ribbit. You know, or something like that, you know. It's like they don't even try. But again, I don't know if that's the fault of the, uh, the voice actor or the direction. Like maybe the voice, maybe the voice directors are just telling him, "Hey, look, man, just speak normal. Just you, hey, you know, maybe one of the voice actors who's voicing a whale probably said something like, or something like that." And the director probably said, "Hey, no, don't, don't worry about it. Just, just do your normal weatherman voice." Okay, you know, it, so like I said, I don't know who who's to blame for it. All I know is that the voice acting sucks. Or it probably doesn't. It doesn't suck if you're if you're playing a human race, or maybe if you can. Or this race here, the Norn. The Norn are basically humans, but bigger. You know, maybe maybe them. But I mean, any of these other races, it just very off putting. I know in Final Fantasy fourteen, um, you know, all the. Uh, the dwarf race, um, or in there they're called Lalafell. I mean, they all have like high squeaky voices, which to me, they, it, to me, they should. Um, probably World of Warcraft. They definitely get the voices right, although I think they really set a nasty precedent, though. Like all the dwarves have Scottish accents. So now any other game out there that has dwarves as a race also sounds Scottish. Um, the Night Elf race. Now every other every other game that all, all that has forest elves or elves of that nature, now they all have quiet, pacifistic voices. But you know, I think they just set an awful precedent by doing that. I mean, I'm not saying it's the wrong decision. I mean, it's revolutionary. But the problem is, is now you've got other games out there, and they all sound like fucking parrots now. Just parroting the World of Warcraft voices, you know. Oh, the orcs, you know. The original orcs, 
based on Zugzog and all this stuff. Now, every other game that has orcs also have this kind of voice too. Say, it's just really annoying. But on the other hand, though, you know, their their orcs are sounding like orcs. I mean, if they put a if they put orcs in Guild Wars 2, they're probably just gonna sound like this. Attack the village, everybody! Leave none alive! You know, just normal human voices. Um. I mean, oh, it just hit me. The centaur race in Guild Wars 2. I mean, attack! Leave none alive! You know, it's probably the most. It's the best you're gonna get from them. Something like that. Although, I mean, technically they're human, part human, part horse, but you kind of get the idea. You know? It's like they're just, it's like they're just coming in. It's like they're all either, whether, whether or not it's their fault, it's like they're just coming in, saying their lines and collecting their paychecks. That's what it's sounding like. But, but like I said, I don't know if it's on the part of the actor or on the part of the director. But in that, but to me that, I'm kind of going over long on this, I'm sorry, but it's really a big, big, big old thorn in my side. Aside from the poor graphics optimization, but yeah. So, um, okay, I was hoping to be able to cover more topics in the short amount of time that I was able to do this podcast. So I'll, I'll just go here to my uh, notepad. Um, I got um, I've got bullet points on here that I rely on if I can't think think of anything else at the time because I prefer to just do a stream of consciousness kind of podcast just freely flowing from one topic to another. You know, digressions, you know, lots of digressing, lots of tangents and stuff like that. And not, don't, you know, kind of like a Joe Rogan podcast where there's no format, no, no specific topics he wants to cover. So, but, um, let me see here. I guess I can go with, um, I guess uh, since we're on the subject of Guild Wars 2 and MMOs, I guess I can go ahead and, um, I'll probably just go ahead and mention my uh, top five, top five favorite gaming genres. Um, number, actually, no, it's pretty much going to be a, it's probably going to be a top three, and then every other genre in the world is basically going to be a a four-way tie, or it's going to be a tie for fourth, but, um, my number one favorite, um, and I'm gonna have to work in a descending order on this, but my favorite my favorite genre of video game has been and always will be RPGs. But it's also gonna be a tie for first with MMOs. So my default my default genre is going to be RPG MMOs. They're gonna be the ones that I always play. Because you're getting the best of both worlds. Um, but a kind of a unique quirk on MMOs. Um in, in Side note, I don't, not that I want any, I don't want anybody to suggest other MMOs to me, but you know, you'll keep it up, but I'm the kind of person that can only play one MMO at a time. I can only commit to one. The most I could probably do is play another MMO for one day. Even if it's a great MMO, it's, I can't, I couldn't play it for, for any longer than that. But once I commit, I commit fully. So, but... That be, but that being said, MMOs are still my favorite genre. Um, and again, it's a, it's a tie with RPGs as number one. Um, my number two favorite genre is pinball. Technically, it's not a video game genre, but if you count it up, pinball arcade and pinball FX3, the two virtual game, virtual pinball games that I play, then yeah, um, I still, I mean, I love physical pinball too. I mean, I've loved pinball ever since I was a little kid. Um, but those that have seen me stream pinball, or maybe watch some of my videos, yes, I do tend to get pretty ragey when playing. And uh, if things get too bad, or if I get too pissed off, I will, I will basically rage quit. I'll just uh, stop, stop playing right there and shut down the stream, or stop recording the video and all that. So, uh, so rage is is an issue when it comes to playing pinball. But just getting that out there, I mean, if you ever saw me stream it or watch any of my videos, you would think that I hated it. 
or just despise playing it, you know, you probably leave questions in your mind like, why do you even play pinball if it pisses you off so much? You know, it's kind of like that. I mean, it's almost it, it's almost like a relationship. You know, you can hear, a, you know, husband and wife screaming and cursing at each other, calling each other every name in the book, maybe occasionally throwing stuff at each other. But yet they've been married for 20, 30 years. That's my relationship with pinball. You know, always getting mad and ragey and, you know, and back back in the day when I actually was consistently playing off physical pinball, I was even slam tilting the machine once in a while on a particularly nasty ball drain. I mean, ah, fuck, Grr! you know, I shake the shit out of the machine because I was so pissed. But yep, I still love it. I, it's one of my few other passions in life. So, but like, just just to get that out there, um. My number three favorite video game genre are idle games. Um, I pretty much play only one. Maybe and I, I do have a I do have a sidearm idle game that I play, but I only play it like two or three times a week. It's called um, Swarm Simulator. It's basically a text only idle game. I'll still play that, but again, I only play it maybe two or three times a week. My other uh, default idle game is um is called Melvor Idle. It's an idle game that's based on RuneScape, which is one of the MMOs that I played the living hell out of. Back in the 2000s, I played it for about six years. And um, in these days, made me play it for... I think I tried playing old school RuneScape for like roughly six months. But I ended up crying uncle and just quitting. It just wasn't the same, especially considering I had played it previously for six years. I mean, I had a... My, uh, I had a character that had 99s in most of the skills. I think uh, I don't think I had a 99 in Slayer, which is probably my all-time favorite skill in any any game. Out of all the games I've played, Slayer is my favorite skill of all time. I don't I don't know if I had a 99 in it or not, but if I didn't, I had it pretty damn high though. But yeah, that. But I had a but I had a lot of time invested in that character, and then all of a sudden, poof, I stopped playing RuneScape for a while to go play something else. Came back thinking, you know, I probably you know, I think I still had the password port. I think I still had the email address. The email, yeah, I think I had the uh, the username, the email address, the password. Try to re-enter them in, gone. Didn't recognize my password or anything. Um, I tried calling the I tried calling up uh, Jagex, the company that created RuneScape. Nothing. Or actually, um, they said they could retrieve my account, but they had to have my password. That's what I'm fucking needing. My password. You know. I mean, I'm needing my pass. You know, I'm needing my password to retrieve my to get access to my account. But they're saying in order to retrieve my account, they needed the password, which is what I was looking for to begin with. So, needless to say, that character was basically lost and gone forever. They're on after. I can't play... I Like I said, I tried playing Old School RuneScape. I played as long as six months, but after that, I couldn't do it anymore. So... Um... But, it, but um... Anyway, those... But, uh... Again, um, idle games, like pinball, I fell in love with them ever since Cookie Clicker. I absolutely love them, but again, um, I played so many, and they're all just—they all work the same. You know, you know, a few a few different features here and there, but for the most part, they're all just—they're they're all reskin cookie clickers. Is all they are. But again, to be fair, there's been a few that I've liked. I can't remember their names. Realm Grinder, that was um, that was one. But, uh, yeah, all the others, I can't remember them, but Realm Grinder was probably one that I played a lot. But, again, I just kind of got burned out on it. Um, and the current, again, the current one being Melvor Idol. But, again, I'm basically down to one Idol game. And then having another one as a sidearm. But, again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but my number three all-time favorite video game genre are Idol games. Every other genre is just... It's just going to be a big revolving door. Um, I'm kind of into 2D fighters right now, but that can but that can change. I mean, I'm 
I'm kind of getting burned out on Footsies, which is my current favorite, which is right now my favorite 2D fighter. I found another one called um, Shaolin versus the Shaolin versus Wu Tang. Aesthetically, I fucking love it. Same with the Black Heart. I love that game, but on the downside, they have motion inputs, which uh, I'm not a real big fan of. Not to mention both of those two games. There's resolution issues. Like, you can't resize the screen to make it fit my my screen. You can't resize the window to make it fit my screen exactly. So that basically, basically the entire lower part of the, the lower part of the, of the window is blocked. I can't see it. So that basically renders a game, quote unquote, unplayable. So, but like I said, I mean, 2D fighters, that's what I'm currently into now, but that can change. It always does. I mean, if they're not the top three, then they're not going to be permanent all-time favorites. But like I said, my interest in 2D fighters can also... <laughs> and I might be into beat-em-ups or action-adventure or... You know, or, or for, for a really tiny, brief glimmer. Uh, First-person shooters. But that's, that's one genre I don't really get into much. Maybe, like, 90s Doom or something, but that's about it. Um... But, but anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. Um, like I said, my cutoff was supposed to be 5 a.m. I wanted to go get something to eat, so I'm running about 10 minutes, I'm running about 5, 10 minutes late, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So, um, so thanks for listening, everybody, and, um, and because, um, my work week has started, um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, there probably won't be a podcast, because I'll be working during the time that I'm normally making one, so... But hopefully, um, hopefully I can, um, hopefully a Sunday morning, start probably Sunday morning, I can uh, try another one of these. So, but until then, everybody, thanks again for listening and see you all next time.